Hi friends, welcome to Sauce Cooking. Today in Sauce Kitchen, I'm going to cook uh, a special kind of uh, mutton curry. It is special because um, it's a mixture of both North Indian and South Indian style of uh, cooking. And uh, for that, I have kept my ingredients ready. I have here uh, a kilogram of mutton, which I have cut and cleaned. I'll be cooking this in instant pot. So I have the instant pot ready. I'm going to put it into saute mode and uh, start the cooking process. So pour about uh, two tablespoons of oil. I'm using olive oil here. Any kind of cooking oil can be used. And uh, we'll wait for the oil to be heated. The oil is uh, hot. I'm going to take the mutton and uh, I have here two tablespoons of uh, chili powder, half a teaspoon of uh, turmeric powder, and one teaspoon of uh, salt. And I'm going to add all of that into the meat. Make sure the meat is coated with all the spices. And then I have here a few curry leaves and a few cardamom. I'm going to add that into the instant pot. I'm just going to add a cup of water into this. And then we close the lid of the instant pot. Cancel the saute option and then use the meat option cook it for 10 minutes. So the mutton has been cooked and it's been sitting there for about uh, 20 minutes. Turn the nozzle to the vent side and then turn open the lid. You can also do this in a regular pressure cooker. So just add um, one cup of water and cook for about uh, three to four whistles. I'm just going to turn this off and we have to move to um, the stove top where I will saute this cooked mutton with onions and uh, the rest of the ingredients. So I'm going to turn on this towel and uh, Get an iron skillet, a deep skillet. Add one tablespoon of oil to the pan. The oil is uh, hot now. I have here one large red onion that I've chopped. I'm just going to add that to the pan. Add few curry leaves and continue to saute the onions till they become soft. Closely crush four green chilies, about five or six garlic cloves, and one inch piece of ginger. So here, here is the ginger, garlic, and green chili which I have uh, just crushed, closely crushed. I have here some more spices, so that's uh, a tablespoon of coriander powder, a teaspoon of cumin powder, a teaspoon of fennel powder, a quarter teaspoon of garam masala and a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg powder. So I'm going to add all of it into the onions. and then saute it again. Just going to cover this onions and cook uh, for a minute and then we'll add the mutton. So the onions are uh, 
done. It's pretty much fried or sauteed. I'm going to add the mutton from here into the onions. We let it boil and uh, wait for the gravy to dry up a little bit, not totally, but uh, about 50% of it should be dried up. So it took about uh, 3 minutes to dry the gravy. During this process the mutton is still cooking, so that's why I cooked the mutton only for 10 minutes in the beginning. And again, um, the cooking time for the meat depends on what kind of meat you get. Some meat might get uh, might take longer time, so cook accordingly. Now, into this, I'm going to add three tablespoons of uh, low-fat yogurt. Yogurt gives it a creamy texture, and as well as uh, if you don't like the kick of the spices, it's going to make it a bit mild. So, after the yogurt, you need to add a little bit more salt to it. So I'm going to add about a half a teaspoon of salt. The final step is add some cilantro to the curry and mix well. Now just increase the flame a little bit so that I just give it just to give it a final uh, boil. That's it, friends. So you see the mutton curry is now ready. You can just let it sit for about 10-15 uh, minutes before serving. So when it cools down, um, actually it gets uh, more tasty. I'm just going to try tasting this. You can eat it with rice or naan bread. The meat looks like it's um, very tender, it's very hot. Mm. It's so yummy. The meat is cooked so softly. The blend of spices is perfect and has um, got into the meat very well so the aroma also is too good try this recipe mm, it's yum. Mm, yummy all right that's it friends thank you for watching subscribe and like my video so cooking thank you See you in the next video.